Welcome to this special edition of the Nevis Newscast, our year in review for 2023. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The beginning of a new year is always a fresh start, a new chapter waiting to be written. The Cabinet of the Nevis Island Administration held its first meeting for the new year and the new term of the Concerned Citizens Movement CCM-led administration on January 4, 2023. The NIA Cabinet is chaired by Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley. And I want to welcome all of you. Um, we have a newcomer in Miss Nisbet. I want to welcome her and to wish all of you uh, the very best for the new year. The cabinet meeting commenced with a prayer of blessing by Father Beckford of the St. Paul's Anglican Church. On January 12th, the Ministry of Sports commissioned some $29,000 U.S. dollars worth of photo finish equipment to facilitate accurate race timing at the Nevis Athletics Stadium. We are no longer going to be using the the pistol and the, the mic. We are now using an electronic um, pistol system. So as soon as that electronic um, pistol goes off, it's recorded immediately, which is much more accurate than the other system. This, I think, represents what the Nevis Island Administration wants to do, what the Ministry of Sports wants to do, and what the Ministry of Education wants to do in terms of the build-out of sports here on Nevis and the build out when it comes to track and field. A ceremony to mark the birth date of the late the Honorable Malcolm Guichard and the first anniversary of the Malcolm Guichard Recreational Park was held on January 16th. The ceremony included an overview of the first year of the park by permanent secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, John Hanley. From its first day of operation to the, pre to the present, approximately 40,000 persons have visited the park. Our peak visitation was in June 2022 when 3,170 persons attended a concert at the park hosted by Tropics. We also had approximately 2,000 persons here for the premiere viewing of the MSR film in entitled Weekend in Paradise, which was shot on location here in Nevis. The park has also been the venue for a host of private and corporate functions, including weddings, birthdays, and anniversary celebrations, and staff incentive events, not to mention a host of government functions, such as workshops, award ceremonies, and exhibitions. Since the park's opening, 207 events have been booked. The highlight of the ceremony was the unveiling of a portrait of the patron of the park, the Honorable Malcolm Guichard, a former Deputy Premier of Nevis and Minister of Tourism. The new session of the Nevis Island Assembly opened on January 19th. The session saw a motion by the member for Nevis 2, the Honorable Mark Brantley, and the member for Nevis 3, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, to nominate Michelle Slack to serve as the new president of the Nevis Island Assembly. I, Michelle Jan Sari Slack, do solemnly and sincerely declare that I will faithfully bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors according to law. Deputy Governor General, Her Honor Hailita Lybird, delivered the throne speech. The commencement of this new parliamentary term signals a period of renewed hope and optimism for our island. I wish to welcome the new members of parliament and salute the returning members as well. Your presence in this parliament is a clear demonstration of your willingness to devote the time and energy to work in a constructive way to further the interest of the people of Nevis. 
Davis Island Administration's Information Technology IT Department was the victim of a cyber attack on January 27. This resulted in the loss of some government services and the loss of internet access across some government departments. Although internet access was gradually restored, some departments remained without services for days as the IT department incrementally restored services across the NIA. The technology-driven services such as the telephone service throughout the entire NIA was significantly impacted. A statement from the NIA advised that the IT department was making every effort to mitigate any losses and that the work would continue to increase measures to improve the security fabric of the network. On January 26th, Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley disclosed that the Alexandra Hospital expanded its diagnostic services with the procurement of a chemistry analyzer, a device used to calculate the concentration of certain substances within samples of serum, plasma, urine and or other body fluids. The cost to us was US $61,472. The machine, when it is commissioned, will be able to process for donors, HIV, Hep B, HCV, HTLVI2, cancer markers, PSA, thyroid function tests, fertility profiles, and other special chemistry. These tests would usually have been sent to sync kits to private labs for processing. And so we are hopeful that with this investment of some 61,472 US dollars, we will be able at our own hospital to provide some of this testing and provide quicker diagnostics to our people. That is what we're seeking to achieve. And I commend, of course, our new Minister of Health, the Honorable General Nisbet and her team for this undertaking and for continuing the build out of the health infrastructure on the island of Nevis. Members of the Nevis Island Administration's Cabinet, the Ministry of Tourism, the Nevis Tourism Authority, and other tourism stakeholders gathered at Nevis's Vance W. Amory International Airport on February 15th for the return of airline Cape Air to the island. CEO of the Nevis Tourism Authority, Devon Lybert, chaired the ceremony. It is my great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to everyone to this short ceremony to commemorate not only the return of Cape Air to Nevis, but the start of Cape Air inaugural flight between St. Thomas and Nevis. This is an exciting time for Nevis. Do you think so? Yes. Especially coming out of the impacts of COVID-19 Travel came to an instant haul in late of March 2020. And today, we have witnessed a gradual rebound and rejuvenation of global tourism and tourism on Nevis more specifically. The Nevis Island Administration's 2023 budget was passed in the Nevis Island Assembly on February 24th. President, the total expenditure budget for the fiscal year 2023 is set at $261.6 million. This represents an increase of 14.2% over the 2022 budget estimates, driven mainly by increases in our capital investment program. The Charlestown Secondary School and the Charlestown Primary School were the winners of the Department of Education's Black History Elocution Contest on February 25th. In the secondary school category, the Charlestown Secondary School emerged the winner with a presentation of Calypsonian Miko's In Times Like These by Wandre Daniel. The Charlestown Primary School was the overall winner in the primary school category, having also captured first place in the individual round with a presentation of Calypsonian Ginger's The Right History by Kashni Keynes. Nevis's Charlestown Secondary School was the winner of the 2023 Ginseng Up Classic, which was held on February 26 at the Kim Collins Stadium in St. Kitts. The Charlestown Secondary School captured the championship from a field of seven high schools. Charlestown Secondary School emerged as the champions. 
They attained 10 golds, 7 silvers, and 1 bronze medal. Gingerland Secondary attained 6 golds, 1 silver, and 10 bronze medals. Three divisions received class champions. Kylan Prentice from the Gingerland Secondary School. She was a class champion for the under-14 females. Sion Gishad of the Charleston Secondary School was class champion for the under-16 males. And Kalia Jones of the Charleston Secondary School was class champion for the under-18 females. The Gingerland Secondary School unveiled a mural depicting the school's mascot during a ceremony on March 2nd as part of the school's 50th anniversary celebrations. After three weeks of painting, making mistakes, repainting, we are finally finished. On behalf of our hard-working teachers, classmates, principal, staff and other students, I hereby take pleasure in revealing this mural in commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Gingerland Secondary School. Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Lybird, congratulated the students and teachers who created the mural. You know, whenever you come through a place, you want to leave something there. And so this will be a legacy that I'm sure many, many years from now, it will be repainted and repainted, but it would have started with those of you who did the original um, painting now. And it, it goes to show the level of um, talent and the level of skill that we have here within the school. The Ministry of Tourism on March 3rd held a ceremony to mark the 20th anniversary celebration of the Division Heritage Village. The Ministry also embarked on a paradigm shift of its business model at the Division Heritage Village with the opening of two new businesses on the site. Premier and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley, and the Honorable Eric Evelyn, Minister of Culture and Area Representative for the St. George's Parish, cut the ribbon to signal the official opening of Dee's souvenir and gift shop and heritage cafe. I feel particularly happy that we have two small businesses that will be launched today. We have a small restaurant and we have a small gift shop, both of which I think complement what we're doing. I am a big proponent of small businesses and small businesses which are owned by women. I'm particularly happy about those. And so I applaud them both. I wish them every success. The Davis Island administration made a significant contribution to a gala event held by the Davis Cricket Association on March 9th to mark 50 years since Davis's El Camino Willett became the first Leeward Islander to make the West Indies cricket team. Willett was the first. He was the pioneer. And that is something that all of us as Nivisions can be proud of. So the Nevis Island Administration is very, very happy to partner with the Nevis Cricket Association in um, honoring Mr. Willett. And we decided to honor to the tune of some $50,000. On March 13th, the Minister of Water Services, the Honorable Spencer Brand, announced the commissioning of the Nevis Water Department's new water reservoir at Zetlands. I think that today, again, signaled the commitment by the Nevis Island Administration to the people of Nevis in ensuring that we build out Nevis in a sustainable way. And I think that this 250,000 gallon water tank here is a clear indication that we are committed to that fact. This tank will now serve uh, market shop area all the way down to uh, Morningstar. The Ministry of Health unveiled its rebranded Behavioral Health and Wellness Center on March 31st. Formerly known as the Mental Health Unit, the center was reformed in an effort to ensure the comfort and successful rehabilitation of its clients. My people, stigma is real. Let us be more compassionate, tolerant, helpful and loving to each other and to persons with lived experience of mental illness. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Shalisa Martin-Clark. 
We've just gotten started. Stay tuned for more of the NMC Year in Review.